Hey, what's up, YouTube, Facebook, Aaron Danton here. Um, been trying to make a video. My electronics went on the fritz again. I don't know. Every time I tried to upload a video, I would delete the video, and then it would say I had less memory than originally, so I'd only ended up going down to being able to make like a uh, almost a, a one-minute video was all, which was weird. And so, I mean, all my electronics went on the fritz for a little while. Um, so I was just going to do real quick, Matthew 12. Um, and I know a lot of people will get indignant on you about this, but don't let them, you know, um, cause unless they want to try to call Jesus Christ a liar, um, I'm not going to, I, I won't, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I mean, I had my come to God moment and it doesn't make me any better than anybody. Um, it doesn't make me any less than anybody, you know? And so when, uh, you know, uh, and it was it convicted me for a long time, you know, people would say, oh, I hope you're not going to call Jesus Christ your brother. Well, you know, if Jesus Christ tells me he's going to call me his brother because I do the will of God, um, then I'll call him brother, right? And I'll call God father. And I hope everybody else would too, because that's what Jesus Christ is trying to get you to understand is that he wants you to disciple with him, you know, under him, learn an apostle with him and call God father. I mean, that's what he wants you to do. And in the last chapter of the book, and I go over this a lot. I say the last chapter, the last chapter, the last chapter. Well, there's a lot explained in the last chapter, right? And uh, the angel, who then goes on in red letter to say, I am Jesus Christ, says to John, I'm your brother. Uh, don't bow to me. Worship God. And so Matthew 12 says right here. Let's see. I'm going to find it. Uh... Okay, so Jesus' true family, he says, um, it says here, uh, Matthew 12, starting at uh, verse 46, while he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood about without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with you, thee. But he answered and said unto him, that told him, Who is my mother and who is, are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his, toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whomsoever shall do the will of my Father which is in, he which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. It's simple to me. And then, you know, when you go to Revelation 22, the angel who then goes on to say, I am Jesus Christ, you know, let him be filthy still, says to John, uh, it says right here, and I, John, saw these things and heard them, and when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship. Before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets. Of them which keep the, the sayings of this book, worship God. So, worship God. Jesus Christ will call you brother, sister, mother, which Put your shoulder to shoulder with him in a circle around God. It's a good thing. Trust me. You, Jesus doesn't want to lord over anybody. He always maintains. Worship God. Um, you know, he did it in Matthew 4. You know, it says to Satan, you know, when Satan's telling him, bow down, I'll give you all this. And Jesus is like, you know, get behind me, Satan. Uh, the, it's, it is written that thou shalt... Serve and worship the Lord thy God alone. So, 
um, you know, Jesus loves us. <laughs> He's going to um, stand in there and fight with with us against whatever we have to fight against. Um, and, you know, and he's going to disciple you, apostle you, and teach you so that he can stand you in front of God when you're ready. Never before. He doesn't want you to fail. That's not his goal is to have you fail and fall. He wants to stand you in front of God when you're ready. And, you know, for some, it may be five minutes. Who knows? You know what I mean? They may be the most righteous soul on earth. And in one minute, they're ready. And he stands, gets to stand in front of God. And God will show him things that he asks. You know, if you ask and pray, hey, God, can I know this? God will show you. And some people, like myself, it took 15 years. You know what I mean? One night I prayed to God. I said, God, can I just know the truth of you and Jesus Christ, please? I, I noticed there's all kinds of deceptions and they're trying to write you out of everything for some reason. I just want to know the truth. And I was shown a lot. And I'm sure everybody here listening will be shown something if they, if, and when you're ready. And it, it just takes us. I was exasperated is what it was. I was exasperated by everything I was seeing in the world. And, um, and I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. I was like, it just doesn't add up anymore. What they're trying to spoon feed us is history. You know, I mean, so, and, and my eyes were opened. And not only did God show me, you know, himself, I man, I already knew for some reason I'd never read the Bible, but I knew not to look at God, because I didn't want to create that image, you know what I mean? I didn't want to worship an image. I wanted to 